All right, folks, welcome back. It's episode six, part two of day two up at Tadotan State Forest. Today, we'll see a bunch of bones. Uh, we'll do some hiking on a portion of the Black Forest Trail in the Algerine Wild Area. Do a little camp cooking and uh, wrap things up with a little fire at the end of the episode. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoy the episode. If you do, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend. We sure appreciate it. We'll be back next week with the first in a short series up in Schuylkill and Lebanon counties. We'll be revisiting the coal mining ruins that we visited in episode one, but this time with better... Honest to God, I just need a break from the water. Oof. Gets a little overwhelming with the white noise after a while. This is part of the uh, Black Forest Trail. Uh, forgotten the name of that earlier. I haven't been talking a lot because honest to God, the uh, water's so loud. I doubt you can even freaking hear me. <laughs> That's right. Beautiful in here. Just beautiful. Spotted a toad. Hello, toad. See him? I don't think you can. Thank you. 
look at the size of the, of the leaves on these ferns. Massive. Just massive. Ooh, this is a mess. Not surprising, though. trail seems to be a stream. I always love when I come to a side trail. I wonder where that goes. Or went. <laughs> you know what? Let's go find out. This could just be a game trail, but it seems to be a oh, big mushrooms. I wonder if this goes right back down to the river or not. It's so hard to say no to a side trail. I'm quietly hoping this leads to a fun scenic overlook, but in all reality, probably doesn't? Oh, but wait. There's the mountain that we come through. There's the river down there. I think I see an opening up here. No, just a light clearing. This has clearly not been used in a long while, or at least very infrequently. Let's keep going, see where it goes. Does make you wonder how this trail came to be. We're all above the uh, water line there. The and you got to be careful out here. There are bears in this area. Um, huh. Well, we're not going that way. It appears it might keep going this way. I don't know if this is worth following any further. Now let's go for it. I wonder when the last time anyone else was down here. Well, folks, this may be all she wrote. I don't barely see a path here. Oh, wait, wait, there it is. There's some more. Huh. Well. That appears to be where the trail peters out anymore. But let's push a little further. A little bit of bushwhacking, never heard it. Oh, wait, wait. Look at those burls. Look at the size of those suckers.
Oh, here's some more of that trail. I do not recommend this for anyone without a compass or a map, neither of which I have on me right now, but with a river right there, I know how to follow my way back. I kind of thought this might go somewhere, but I'm wondering if this was just a very old path through here from way back. But let's see. So this is now heading directly towards the river. Let's see here. That's a U in the river down there. It turns that way. I think I've taken this about as far as I'd like. Um, yeah, I think I've taken this as far off the main trail as I'd like. find our way back. Love a nice side trail. I was just reading a story about a woman who sadly passed away while on the Appalachian Trail because she went off trail to use the bathroom and couldn't find her way back. That is PA Woods will eat you. <laughs> They all look the same. It's easy to get around when you got rivers and streams to help as landmarks, but you can't always trust the woods. If you're gonna go off trail, especially onto a non-existent trail, just out to the woods, make sure you get your compass out and take a heading so you know which way to go back. Look at you, little thing. Because what I heard happen there was they were searching the wrong area for this woman because someone had seen a woman that looked like her in a different area, so they were searching there. And that's dangerous. The real tragedy is when they eventually discovered her body in her tent, there's a note to her husband and all that. She was only two miles off trail. I mean, worst part is, had she pressed on the direction it looked like she was going, she'd have got back. Look at you. Look at that bark. Beautiful. So be very careful out there, folks. The woods are wonderful, but you've got to respect them.
also no bushwhacking and shorts <laughs> i didn't think i needed to say it folks but i've seen it done What a great little hike-in camping spot. Oh look, free knife. What do we got here? Well, that's Gerber, could get cleaned up. That'll give us a project. No point in just leaving it here, it'll just collect rust. repurpose it and put it back to good use something about pocket knives they're cyclical Let's see if we can feel any heat on this now this hasn't been lit in a while this is a beautiful little spot though man alive this would be worth hiking in for what a pretty one place I can hang this. Yeah, there's, there's even some good spots I can hang a, uh, a hammock out here. I can get real lazy and hammock this one. Oh, beautiful scenery out here. My gosh. Well, what do we have here? At first, I woke up today. I was thinking about just spending the entire day at camp mulling over what was on my mind. But I realized there actually wasn't much to sit and think about. Welcome to PA. We got wet rocks. Holy crap. Okay, made it. Oh, look, I'm right back next to the water. Who knows if you can hear me anymore? <laughs> Oh, it's pretty though. Look at all these beautiful ferns too. Lovely. Just stunning. Stunning out here. Let's get you guys a nice shot of this raging rapids. You can see where it was up to by all the pushed over plants. This is a surprisingly low impact hike so far. And of course I utter these words as the incline begins. Now, I've barely done a mile of this thing probably and it's 47 miles long. So I'm sure uh, this experience does not carry through for the entirety.
Huh. One goes up, goes down. Let's see what down does. Stops at the river fiber, but let's take a pretty look at this little area. Another good campsite. My goodness. Oh, people. Go easy on these birches. Look at the size of this fella. Holy crap. That's a big boy. Let's go up a little. I can't help but look at this campfire pit and laugh. Because you know, the first guys that came out here built the first level. And then the next guys who came out realized that was wet under there, so they built the next level up. There's gotta be, what do you think there? Three, four layers of fire pit. They just kept stacking it higher and higher and higher because this ground is probably permanently wet. <laughs> That's amusing. All right, let's get back on the trail. I don't know any of that sparkle is going to show up but all the big rocks up here have just loaded with either tiny little quartz crystals or a ton of mica but everything sparkles just a little bit This is a great trail. I'm enjoying this. Hope you are too. And you get to see it all without the work. And that's all right. I don't mind. This is super pretty though.
Pardon. Or as the youth says, sorry, not sorry. Gonna be wet shoes later. Oh well. This is less of a trail than it is an entire stream right now. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> now we're gonna test to see how waterproof these boots are anymore. So far, dry toes. <laughs> oh my. Another big rock up here. See that sucker? Blue doggy. Wow. This is an absolute lake up here. Interesting. You know, sometimes nature is a way of telling you to go back. When we have a way of telling nature, we'll find a way around. Look at this big fella. Holy smokes. Beautiful. God. I have no idea how people live in the desert. Well, I went out looking for some firewood a few minutes ago and stumbled across something that got me pretty excited. Let's go take a peek. Now, you can see, I am right at the campsite. So of course, I was getting this fire started and I went out looking for a little bit of uh, kindling. And let me show you what I found. This is about the most excited you'll ever hear me. All right, do you see what I see? Oh, I bet you do now. That is a deer skull. And if you don't know, most of you don't, I collect bones. So to find this, this close to uh, the campsite was really cool. Now, hang on, because I, I got a bag right here. All right, we have a skull in the bag, but see, then I looked up. And I'll show you what I found the rest of the deer, including some parts you don't see very often, like ribs. So we will take these ribs. These are some vertebrae in varying condition. This is the pelvis. This is something you don't see very often at all. I'm gonna to have to take these home and dry them out. Um, I actually think what may have happened here was there was a hunter who just dumped a corpse here after it was butchered, that's fine. And I am happy to have the pieces. There's a jawbone. Now here's another jawbone over here. But uh, we'll have to put those side by side and compare them. Here's the coccyx, I assume. Uh, I've never actually seen one of these still intact in the wild. Lots of ribs, lots of ribs. Um, this is almost complete. I'm not seeing any leg bones. This is why it makes me think it was a hunter or an animal dragged the legs off and ate them elsewhere. Now here's the spine. That is, yeah, this all needs to be left out to dry because this is such a moist area where this stuff will continue to degrade. That's okay, it can spend some time in my garage airing itself out. This is really neat. What a find. What a find. Let's see. I don't know what that is. Oh, 
Well, I think that's most of it. A couple more pieces. This is quite, I've never found a set of uh, deer bones this intact before. This is the most ribs I've ever seen just out. Uh, I'm gonna, it's getting dark. So it's getting a little hard to spot stuff. I'm gonna try not to pay too much attention when I'm editing this or else I'll probably see stuff I missed. But I will be back. Oh, there's another rib. All right. Oh, wait, there's another vertebrae. Another rib. I think that's all that she wrote. But that was super cool. I know the boys will be excited when I get to show these. Wait, there's another super small rib. Look at that. Tiny. Alright. One more <laughs> quick sweep. We're gonna call this site cleaned. That is a ton of bones, a ton of bones. Look at all those. Yeah, dirty filthy. But we will double bag them in trash can, trash bags, and bring them home. All right, I gotta get cleaned up and cook some supper. We're doing some onions. Now, the, um, the onion I brought was apparently bad. There was a bad section to it, so I cut that out and not much was left. And we're gonna do some uh, stadium-style brats. I don't spend any time in stadiums. I don't know what that means. I assume it's just a bratwurst with a fun name. So yeah, there was um, the remains uh, of a deer, sans legs, uh, but the head, most of the ribs, uh, and most of the spinal column were all still there. Now I addressed all this in the uh, video, but I collect bones. So for me, this is great. Uh, I was shocked. Now, uh, you all missed the fun joke of I was wearing rubber gloves, and uh, what was supposed to be funny was, you know, do you always carry rubber gloves? Why, yes, yes I do. And I always have them in my first aid kits. So, uh, we can all laugh, haha, -ha, posthumously, uh, over the footage that uh, didn't make it. I'm gonna fry up these here onions. Now, yes, I am frying these in straight butter. Couple of brats.
let that cook for a minute. Dogs cooked up real nice. It is getting dark quick. That's the thing when you've got mountains all around you. The sun goes down a little quicker than uh, it says on the book for the day. The book, of course, being the Farmer's Almanac. Um, <laughs> I was hoping to crack the skins on these brats. I was raised in North Jersey, and there's a place in, well, there's two places in North Jersey, but the original is a place called Rutt's Hut, and they deep fry hot dogs, and it cracks the skin, and that's called a Weller. And a Weller was a favorite of my late grandmother, so I was hoping to crack one in her honor. <laughs> no, no, not a beer. But yeah, when you do a weller, the skin cracks. It makes very tasty. You never, I knew one place in, Phil, in Pennsylvania that was doing it, but that place closed up. I don't think the two issues are correlated, but. Oh yeah, this is what you call a healthy meal. They're getting nice and dark though. That's important. So is this video because the sun is dying. I suppose I ought to get one of those LED lights for this thing, huh? No, not today. That's nice. The skin was hard when I pushed through it. That's perfect. All right. First, we take the food off. And we throw the butter in the fire. Don't worry. I'll turn the camera around so you can watch the big flare up. Stand by. The magic of spinning things around. There's the fire. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, well. Listen, folks, in the interest of you not watching me eat, I'm gonna show you dinner. It is not pretty. Look at that mess. Don't worry, I probably won't eat all of it. I'll bring some of it home for the dogs. Oh, those onions are delicious. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna go eat this lovely pile of food and uh, I'll probably check back with you folks later.
Thanks so much for watching. We'll be back next week with explorations up in Schuylkill and Lebanon counties. I hope you enjoyed and please like, comment, and subscribe if you did. Take care, stay safe out there, and get outside. It's a little cold, but it's worth it.